G'day blokes and chillers, Grego here. Well today I'm going to show you how to whip up a Kraken Aussie meat pie. This one's going to be an absolute little beauty. She's a ripper and you know what? The kangaroos are going to love it. Right, well enough of me gas bagging on, let's start cracking. This is Greg's Kitchen. Here's all the ingredients you're going to need to make this cracking little ripper. I'll leave all the ingredients listed down below. And of course I'll be chin wagging along the way as well. So, let's get into it. Right, well I'm going to start off with a 200 degree oven. That's 400 if you live up north. And I'm going to whack on the old fry pan as well. But the first thing I need to do is cut this onion up into tiny pieces. So dingo, bingo, dilly wongers, that's done. Just like a crap in an outhouse. So now to my frying pan. Ah, God! Frying pan. I'm going to chuck some butter and whack in the old onions. Get these on the go. Righty-o, they look pretty nice. So now I'm just going to chuck in the old dead cow and get this as brown as the grass in a country town. I might add a bit of salt and pepper to this. Right, well while that dead cow's cooking, I'm just going to make up some stock. Ah, bugger! So I've got one cup. If you've got real stock, use that. I'm just using some stock cubes, two of them, in here. You beauty ripper. Crikey! I nearly forgot my puff pastry sheets. I better get a couple of these on the Thor. All right, so now that meat's as brown as the inside of my undies, I'm going to add three tablespoons worth of flour. Stir that through. Now I'm going to add my one cup of stock. Oh, that looks like the inside of a dunny. Better try and get all that out. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter of a cup of tomato sauce ketchup. That was that, not me. Half a teaspoon of oregano, or as we say here in Australia, oregano. And about a fart's worth of nutmeg. We'll just mix this together, and there you have it. That's the guts of the pie right there. Alrighty, so I might turn that off actually. We need to let this cool down a bit. So I'm going to be using this muffin cupcake tray thing. So I need to cut my puff pastry into sheets that'll fit in this. So I'm making six, so I'll go down that way and across that way on one of them. Then on the other one, I'll go down that way and across that way on one half. And then I'll just leave this because I'm sure I'm going to need it. Now we need to lubricate the inside of our tray, so with a bit of cooking oil, we'll just spray the... Oh, you dingo! We'll just spray the inside of this, and I'll just gently push these into each hole. If there's any folds, you can just push those to blend. So I'll just get all these done. It doesn't have to be pretty. So now I'm just grabbing my meat, and we're just going to fill all these up with our meat. So now with my leftover bit of pastry, I'm just going to cut this into sections. Stir it, bugger that one up. And now I'm just going to put a piece on top of each one. And now I'm just going to fold each corner over like this. All right, so now that's done. I'm just going to bung these in the old oven for 20 minutes. Right, well, the time has just gone off, so. Oh, yeah, have a look. Oh, crikey! Oh, have a look at these little rippers. Right, well, there they are, and they look fantastic. So I'll just let them cool down a bit before I tuck on in for the old... Alrighty, first, how about we just cut one of these open, see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, hello, my pretty. Alrighty, well, there's those meat pies I just whipped up. How good do they look? But what's a meat pie without some tomato sauce? That's not me. Right, well, let's give it a go. Oh wow, oh, that's better than a beer at the cricket. Well I gotta say, the filling of that pie tastes exactly like one you'd get from the server. I hope you enjoy it, and if you do give it a go, let me know how yours turns out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Grego's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the meat pies are made today. Tastes just like the ones you get at the corner shop, when you go to buy a pack of the dunneries. Cause Yeah, baby.